No, that's okay. So, um, so just explaining that, um, in that part of the world, everything was very different. And, um, I just really appreciate the experience of having lived there. I learned a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I think in this part of the world, we don't really sort of understand them enough. And their closeness to nature was something that really had a big impression on me. And we did a lot of traveling and, um, so this particular journey that I did, it was called the Panmure Highway and the Roof of the World. It really had a huge impact on me and my work. And um, for example, on the journey, we accidentally in a village just um, run into a group of women who were making dowries out of felt. And we spent the entire day with them and did a bit of felt work with them and visited all their houses in the village and... It was a very extreme, high up place that they lived. They had a very hard life. And at the same time, they were incredibly cheerful. And um, that was really enjoyable. But the main part of um, this journey that I put into these paintings was um, we drove along the border of Afghanistan for a few days. Mm. And um, it was just such an impression. We were looking at Afghanistan from across this river and people were walking up and down on these tiny little paths um, with donkeys and we could see across to the fields and it just looked absolutely gorgeous and it was almost like biblical scenes mm. and then there was these huge waterfalls that dropped all the way down into this river they were spectacular and then like there was sheer rock and then these fields and people ploughing and making the hay and um, then when I came back to Ireland I found it initially the first year quite hard to settle after mm. it was, I'd been living in such a different place and then every Sunday morning I was doing a, a walk and I'd walk past the Paris Court waterfall mm. which is also a huge big long deep waterfall and it just made me realise how we're all connected by water and you know we have borders but actually nature doesn't have borders no and that's exactly what i have described in these paintings and some of them do describe all these waterfalls but then some of them describe lakes and it's all to do with the little journeys of water that's what all that mark making is in the paintings Hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's for me, it's so fabulous how you recreated in your paintings uh, just the, the, the blue that uh, I can see just in this picture and uh, the, this impressive landscape that you saw and probably is impressed in your memory and you are able to recreate uh, and uh, reproduce with your colors uh, in these uh, paintings in particular the flux and flow because they are big paintings and they can uh, probably very well express uh, this uh, uh, landscape without uh, borders uh, enormous and so open and at the same time i can see in um, because uh, I saw the, the photograph that you did during that time uh, and during your travels uh, and the colors uh, in your printings of, in a certain way, the palette is, uh, um, is uh, recalling the colors of that people, the wear of, uh, of those people and uh, the tradition that probably uh, they were, they are, completely different uh, and uh, we, we we don't know very well uh, they are very exotic a country for most of us so it's uh, it's unbelievable how you you were able to recreate all these things and elaborate it in your own language in your through your art and uh, i saw just now in uh, and a photograph, your just your recent uh, solo exhibition, uh, 
and uh, it's uh, it's gorgeous how what you created uh, even uh, uh, that scarf and the colors are again with that impressive and bold blue that uh, i love your palette and is uh, it's so brave in a certain way i have just to say <laughs> okay gosh <laughs> Oh, well, I love using colour and I, I think a little bit of the challenge of the exhibition, which is finishing tomorrow in So Fine Art Editions in Paris Courtain House. I have to go and run now yeah, after this culture night, I have to go. Yeah, four, uh, four o'clock tomorrow, it'll all be over. I um, won't be there. <laughs> but I mean, this building, it's actually a privilege and was always a dream to be inside this room. The ceiling is spectacular. And I suppose my biggest worry was so much color and, you know, how it would work out. And actually it worked out really fine. It, in fact, the color and the sort of abstract um, way my paintings and prints are worked really well in this like beautifully decorated room. Oh, so, yes. Yeah. And yeah, I so saw that you, yeah. And I saw that your work, even they are, so intense for the colors, but uh, even with the over nature artists, they are working very well because they are offering another, another, um, another point uh, of not only of you, but uh, another vision of uh, what you are expressing through your uh, paintings and you are representing, even if they are just abstract painting or uh, prints. Yeah, well, um, the exhibition was that exhibition I called a keel. And yeah. uh, it was uh, an excuse to explore. Before Kazakhstan, I lived in Belize in Central America for three years. But before that, I lived in New Zealand for five years. And New Zealand art is so fascinating. It actually refers to um, British artists a lot uh, moved mm. over there with the influence of the Pacific Islands and it's just a magical um, combination and colour is hugely important down there in the art and um, so that's where I got my sense of colour from and it wasn't until I worked back in Ireland that I realised how important this using colour is for me and yeah. so keel you know it's like if you put a boat in the water here the keel points down to yeah. uh, New Zealand and the Pacific Islands. So that was what I explored in that exhibition. Yeah. Yeah. So, and um, yeah, because probably before it was uh, the, just uh, the, the connection was so poor and uh, everything uh, was probably missed. Uh, the experience that you have, uh, that you had during your traveler uh, travels, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to be, I'm, I'm a little bit tired and my English can be a little bit strange. Oh yeah, I was so, explaining a few experiences in Kazakhstan. Oh yes, because, because uh, everything <laughs> was interrupted when you, you were there yeah. talking about just the people, how they were and uh, open to share what they had uh, and uh, the, the life was strange, uh, and uh, oh, I so think. Oh, my gosh. And I tell you, I went into shock because I had five years in New Zealand, three years by the Caribbean Sea in Belize, and then the Soviet Union, Kazakhstan, honestly. Actually, I didn't do any art for the first six months. I was in shock. And, um, you know, the gas pipes there, here you never see gas pipes, but there they go over ground everywhere. Um, when you go to the market, they, you buy your fruit and vegetables with no packaging inside. You bring your own bag. It's, it's much more, they're much more in tune with nature. And yeah. then when you put out your hand for your change, they give you a tomato instead of your change. So that always causes a giggle and they're humorous. And then, then the funny thing is my daughter was a baby. And um, if children go around in bare feet in Ireland, they're considered strong and healthy. And it's the absolute opposite in Kazakhstan. It means they're going to get sick and ill and all the old babushkas will scream at you, Bishikom, Bishikom, which means bare feet, bare feet. And 
the funniest one was tonsillitis. In Ireland, if you have tonsillitis, everybody gives you ice cream to cool down your throat. Yeah. Uh, when we gave my daughter ice cream, um, all the old ladies would go, no way, you have to give them hot drinks. So, <laughs> so there was just no end of contrasts over there and uh, just taught me an awful lot. It was in the beginning a very hard experience, but now, like looking back, I just learned so much, you know, about the world, about different places, different cultures. And nature there, the mountains were incredible. You just go up high in them and the wild flowers and mm. oh, things I'll remember forever. Yeah. Yeah, that is. And that memory is uh, it's something that uh, probably is uh, the constant in your uh, in your work, because uh, even for now your new show, The Kill and this over nature, and probably uh, I can see that uh, there is something that is like a lay motive for uh, for your work, probably that, exper that experiences, because it was not only one, but so many experiences. Yeah, so many, yeah. Good so, and bad. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. Uh, I was impressed when you, I met you for the first time and that uh, really that uh, you had that uh, uh, adventurous life. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, and of course that uh, that travel, they are changing a person, the life of a person and the vision of a person. So because of course, you can see now things uh, uh, from an opposite uh, or just different uh, point of view with respect to the other Irish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. so, it is wonderful though living back in Ireland. Um, really, the Irish um, art community, it's absolutely thriving on all levels. It's incredible. Oh, it's yes. incredible the amount of different artists here doing everything. Um, like traditional um, yeah. painting to the most avant-garde stuff happening all over the country. It's And it's just been a pleasure to come back here after all the experience of um, so much travel. Yeah. No, no, uh, I totally agree because when I arrived here in Ireland for the first time, I was surprised to see all this art and uh, so different and uh, it's possible to find that from the young and emerging artists and work from uh, the established. So there are a big range of art from uh, just different uh, period uh, and medium. And uh, it's unbelievable how it's possible in, in any way in a, a small country like Ireland mm -hmm. to find so many good artists. Uh, yeah. from uh, just poets, so visual artists and non-visual artists. So it's a very rich country and uh, it's it, it was uh, something that uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> you know, it's really, honestly, after coming back from Central Asia to here, it's, it's I mean, every day if I think about it, I'm astounded. Astounded, yeah. So I'm I'm really... Uh, happy that uh, I discovered Ireland. It was uh, just around the corner, not so far, but We're so uh, happy to have you here <laughs> because uh, it was like uh, okay, <laughs> this is my my how I have to say my uh, pot of gold is not like uh, <laughs> just at the end of the rainbow. There are so many artists, and that there is the richness of uh, of Ireland uh, in this case for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a privilege of, for all of us, Valeria, to have somebody like you here. It really is. It really is. Thank you so much. Don't say that. Otherwise, it can be. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you seem to be like going around everywhere and just finding artists and introducing us artists to other artists because it is phenomenal how many artists there are in Ireland. And in, in the special thing about the Over Nature show, it's like I can't even, I can't just name everybody but I've just been so intrigued by everybody's work and and the different work and um, everybody's brought to the different shows and I've just learned so much and I've made some 
such lovely friends yeah everybody yeah it's been very special very special so now uh, if i have to do something else that is not anymore over nature it will be difficult uh, after all these beautiful <laughs> words i will be like oh my god <laughs> now the thunder is too hard <laughs> uh, <laughs> how i can repeat myself <laughs> you do something bigger and better hope so <laughs> yes <laughs> But it was really uh, something that it was possible to create uh, because uh, I have behind me you and the others. Otherwise, it was was just me and uh, and me <laughs> and just saying things and uh, and I have just to thank you and thank all uh, all the artists that they are part of this group because. Uh, you are working uh, hard uh, with me a lot, so this is uh, something that I hope uh, that uh, that will be a, a recon oh sorry a recognizable exhibition and uh, useful uh, for uh, all of us uh, for our experience to to use in the future. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So. Um, I hope to see you in the reality soon and uh, our show now is going to open uh, next Saturday and, and uh, I will be in the Luan Gallery uh, to install uh, your paintings uh, and uh, I decide to show also your prints so it will be uh, something different again uh, for uh, the viewers, uh, for the visitors that they are going there to to see this uh, exhibition so hope to add, uh, add something new again uh, is over nature is renewing renewing this uh, it, itself all the time so oh, well, thanks thank a million you and you uh, now <laughs> yes and now I have another artist from Wexford so <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Wexford now you know Hi, Helen. Yeah. <laughs> we have just okay, to bye. say hi. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, bye. 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 bye.